The story of Mega Man is one of a boy named Rock, an android built by the good Dr. Light. One day, Light's partner, Dr. Wily, betrays him, and to help save the world from his evil clutches, Rock becomes the hero, Mega Man. Debuting in 1987 for US audiences, the simple adventures of a young blue robot quickly sprouted into a franchise spawning over 100 games in the past 26 years. Influenced by kids' sci-fi cartoons such as Astro Boy and Casa Hearn, Mega Man stars a set of simple, colorful characters who've proven to be versatile components for a multitude of stories told by the series. Mega Man's simplicity has led to the Blue Bomber being something of an icon. In fact, when series creator Kiji Inafuni left gaming company Capcom, many fans worried the franchise would die out and become a relic of gaming history. The flexibility of Mega Man has led to him starring in many games outside of his own, most recently Nintendo's newest Smash Brothers game. The vast science fiction world which Mega Man inhabits has become something which fans have made their own over the years, developing their own stories, music, comics, and games which take place within the Mega Man universe. Two, one. <laughs> But what of Mega Man's solo adventures now? Inafune Keiji desu. 23 years old, Capcom and Onimusha, Dead Rising, and Rockman, and many other games have been developed. Three years ago, I developed the company of Concept. I have been working on what I wanted to do. And Fume ended up going to Kickstarter with a new idea, Mighty Number no. Nine, a new blue robot hero that was a callback to simpler times in the Mega Man history. The pitch was a huge success and brought in more than 2.4 million dollars in pledges, blasting through its original fundraising goal of 900,000 dollars. <laughs> While it may be different in name, the optimistic spirit of the Blue Bomber is still strong today. And who knows, Mega Man always comes back.